Welcome to another lecture of Master Computer VM in OpenCV with Python. In this lecture, we will learn object tracking using DLib Computer Vision Library. In this lecture, we will learn object tracking in video using DLib, which is an other useful computer library. We will see the DLib object tracker algorithm is performed well in this situation, such as changing light, scale variant. Scale variant means the size of tracking object is increased or decreased and occlusion problems. It means that required tracking object is disappeared behind an other object. Now we understand the flowchart or whole method of tracking object in DLib computer vision library. Okay. First import DLib computer vision library, then read video and then read the first frame of our video and then convert to the and then convert this frame into rgb for rgb then convert the frame into rgb format if the frame is first then select region of interest and convert to dlib rectangle and then initialize and start tracking if frame is not if the frame is not first then update tracker get object position convert to open cv rectangle and display box this is the whole process or flowchart of our process to track object in dlib com computer vision library now we start our code import the required modules or libraries like opencv numpy and dlib import cv2 opencv library numpy as np dlib another computer vision library run the cell okay in the next cell create a video capture object and see whether the video was loaded successfully this line of code read our input or original video and these lines of code check if video opened successfully or not there is no message it's mean our video is read successfully in the next cell we read the first frame and check whether it was read successfully by using read function of video capture class okay it returned two variables first variable return and second is frame okay and then check if frame read successfully use this line of code and then display the first frame and then destroy above opening windows run the cell and see the result okay this is our first frame of video and the, we want to track the object person in this video okay press enter to destroy this window in the next cell select the region of interest and specify the initial bounding box by using select roi function of opencv and this function return a bounding box around the around our region of interest in these lines of course destroy the opening windows okay run the cell in this frame we draw our region of interest our region of interest is around this object okay press enter and again enter to destroy this window x and y are the values of top left corner of our bounding box around the around our region of interest and w is the height of our bounding box and h w is the width of our bounding box and height and h is the height of our bounding box and these are the values of these four coordinates because dlib computer vision library work in rgb format instead of bgr format so convert the frame into bgr to rgb format because dlib process frame in rgb format instead of bgr like opencv by using this line of code use cv2 color function of opencv and pass the frame of our video and then 
was the attribute which changed the BGR format into RGB format. Okay, run the cell. Now convert the boundary box to DLIB rectangle. Okay, top left X, top left Y, width of bounding box, height of bounding box, and bounding box. Okay, bottom right X and bottom right Y determined by the these lines of course which mean width and adding the width and x values and then adding height and y value and at the end we we make a rectangle by using dlib computer vision library dlib dot rectangle pass top left x top left y bottom right x and bottom right y it mean the these are these two coordinates are the top left corner of bounding box and these are the bottom right corner of bounding box okay run this one in the next cell create tracker object by using dot correlation underscore tracker class tracker is the object of correlation underscore tracker class which is already built in dlib library and then initialize tracker and pass two parameters frame into uh, in rgb format and dlib rectangle object okay run this one create a new display window this is where we will be displayed our tracking output by using named window function of opencv and then display the first frame and then destroy the window of first frame okay run the cell this is our first frame which we have already seen in the above code so let's enter to destroy or close now we start our final code on final cell start iterating over the frames of the video start infinite loop read next frame by using this line of code and check if video is entered by using this line of code and then convert frame into rgb format by using this line of code because dlib is use rgb format instead of pgr format and then update tracker it's, this means we tell the tracker by the changing position of our object in the video okay and then let the position of detected person detected persons take a variable object position and tracker use tracker object and call the get position method or function and then top left x and object position dot left property and object dot top property and object position dot right and object position dot bottom it gives us the top left corner of our rectangle and bottom right corner of our rectangle and with the help of these and with the help of these top and bottom corners we draw uh, we draw a rectangle around our object create bonding box and call function of cv2 rectangle and pass our first frame and then this is the left top left corner of rectangle this is the bottom right corner of rectangle this is the color of rectangle and this is the color to path of rectangle and then display our track window and our video with with tracking object and these lines of code quit the whole process and these lines of code close all windows or close all windows which we have opened in this whole program okay now run the cell and see our result okay this is object 